Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to start to update and customize your new WordPress website. So I recently installed WordPress over on my new commuter on a scooter dot com website and it just gave me a default theme to work with and it also it throws in a generic post and stuff like that when you want to log in and manage your account basically you can just um, go to your website and then slash WP login or WP admin either one should work fine for you and it'll of course prompt you putting your username or password forgot my password for a second there we go and you will be taken to the um, the dashboard and the dashboard is your main interface for your new WordPress powered site and remember traditionally WordPress was a blogging tool but it's become a lot more than that and a lot of websites out there that maybe even aren't blogs will use WordPress as a content management system or CMS so they make it extremely easy to kind of update the content and also the look of your of your new website and keep in mind so I can always uh, there's my right I just right click on this I'm on the Chrome browser here and I'll open in a new tab so here's my commuter on a scooter website as it exists right now but it's super easy to change that for instance I can head over to appearance and then later videos I'll go over more of these options but I can head over to appearance and themes and right now it's only got three themes available to me that's a tough one to say so what I might want to do is add a new theme so I can click on add new very easily and I'll just search for the newest I'll just go to install themes newest and they give you a bunch of color coding that you can search for and um, at a glance I'll see if I can see something that has kind of an urban feel to it that one's pretty good since it's about commuting on a uh, on a scooter right seems like there should be a street and, and I'll, I'll update this later on but I'll show you right now how easy it is so I'll, I'll pick this theme here called radiate and I'll just choose the install now yeah maybe it's wise to preview but um, you know it's it's especially early on in the process it's easy enough to change things there we go so now that theme's been installed and then I can activate this theme done and done head back over to my site now watch what happens when I refresh my browser there's my old commuter on a scooter and here's the new one look at that in just a couple of clicks and a few seconds I've got a completely brand new look to my uh, to my website now you'll notice on my themes my appearance themes area of my dashboard notice I have four available before I had three and now I have four I have the one that I'm using plus these three others and I can switch back and forth to, to themes pretty easy but let me show you how easy it is to get other themes and I'm not just talking about the process I used here but there's you know some really cool blogs out there that will provide some neat themes for you that you can download so let's check these out so I'm over at the wordpress.org site and you can find themes at sites other than WordPress but I just happen to pop over here and there's this one it's a pretty simple looking minimalist theme that I kinda like and it's got a lot of options for customizing so I'm gonna choose the download option and I'm gonna download a zip file for it okay so let me go ahead and extract this right into my downloads folder okay so the the WordPress theme right there Sundance is the one I downloaded and it's got a bunch of files in it but it's super easy to work with here's how you do it so I go to my FileZilla application I need to make sure that I'm logged in so I'm logged in and this is where I've installed WordPress I'm gonna go to WP content folder and then I've got a themes folder and you notice I have four folders in here that corresponds to the four themes I currently have installed I just take this Sundance theme folder just drop it right in there it'll go pretty quick now once that theme folder is in there this theme is now going to be available to me through my dashboard so I can jump back over to my browser head over to my dashboard it's probably still uploading but I'll go ahead and do a refresh here 
And sure enough, here is my Sundance theme. So I now have five themes available to me. So there's my Sundance theme. I can activate that. That's done. Head back over to my site. There's the old one again. If I hit refresh on my browser, there we go. So I now have a new look to my website. And you're thinking, well, maybe that other one was better. But there's still lots of customization we can do. So don't worry necessarily about some of the details of a particular theme, especially if it's colors and images that come with it. Those are often very easy to, to change.